Well, 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 hello everyone and welcome to GM Mall Parking. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mall Parking? What? Yeah, that's what I thought too, when somebody suggested to me. And, uh, I've been seeing this very, uh, on, uh, the workshop for a while. Like, highly rated. And someone a while back was like, hey, you should play... GM mall parking. I'm like, oh boy, that oh, yippee, that sounds like a lot of fun. In my mind, I assumed it was like some kind of very simple mall parking map. That it, I, I was just like, why is this popular? But then I looked at it. Uh, I don't remember when I downloaded it, but I saw that there's more to it than just a mall parking. Just a park, just a more than a parking lot. So here we are in GM Mall parking. I think that's what I, th I think it's a mall parking lot. Let me look. Yeah, it's just called GM Mall parking, which is interesting. So apparently, this map had more than what meets the eye. We. We, okay, I'm sorry. I just got over, like, a fever that lasted for, like, three days straight. Uh, it sucked. And it's been a while since I've been able to even record, so. Yeah. Here we are. Mall parking. I do gotta say, this is a little weird. Oh, I didn't expect that to open just because of the way that... That all kind of looked, you know what I mean? Planet Sheen. It was like talking or something. If you guys turn up your volume, you can hear, hear it. Is that just the ambience? I didn't hear it out there. This is like a rat man den down here. I was about to say, this is kind of creepy. This place is wide open. I think I can close doors. I feel like I'll remember. It must just be the whole staircase. I hear beeping. You turn up your volume, you can hear it. It just sounds like talking, which is... Sounds like it's a part of the mall, maybe. Very cool. I really thought that there's something peeking right there. I was terrified. So this must be the beeping I, I was hearing. I feel very uneasy in this room. So many corners. Okay. So. I just got kind of a funny image in my head. Imagine 
Saul Goodman and Mike Ehrman Trout being stuck in a liminal space. I think that'd be very funny. Ever since that one episode where they got... Well, I'm not going to spoil anything. On Better Call Saul. Where... They're... Walking together. For a long time. Uh... I just imagine them being in goofy scenarios together. Can't climb that. This feels like a... Uh, where they put a lot of their storage and cargo. That scared me. That... They knew what they are doing. Sorry about that pause. But, that totally was set up like that on purpose, right? It looked like somebody sitting there. Is this map going to have scares in it? Or is this going to be like a liminal space where you walk around? Because I'm kind of getting the vibe that there's... Is this going to be another liminal space? But I don't know. Can't go into there. That is creepy though. It's very unsettling. Did they do that on purpose? Or I don't know. Because if you look at that from a distance, it really does look like someone's just leaning there. Just sitting there. In the classic Gmod sitting position. Like when the NPCs sit. In like Half-Life. Wait, did I get on top for a second? Oh, I did. Yes. I like boxes. I learned this from Half-Life. So do these things purposely move a lot more because they have wheels on it? Guys, I'm sorry about all the pauses. I have a terrible cough right now and it's just really hard to like... I don't want to be coughing constantly on video. Because it peaks the mic and I just know it's probably really loud. So I'm going to pause it every time I cough. I guess I shouldn't be walking all the time in these open areas like this. I'll just kind of walk around in side areas, you know? Something like this. Because I can have a little look around. Have we been here? Did I go in a circle? I don't know, guys. I got bad memory. Those doors are <clears throat> kind of creepy. Can't get in there. There's also a car there. Van.
I always say this, but if I miss something, let me know. Probably not something you can see here if you're reading this runaway as fast as you can. That is creepy. That that looks like the shape of a person. And I don't like that message. I just stood right here and I could see it. I don't really want to be in this area anymore. That That's unsettling. I don't like this room. An elevator? Yeah, it is. Can I call it? Oh, I actually... Oh. It's this way. Oh, jeez. That scared me. Okay. A little hard to get through those. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I'm freaked out. There's so many things that could happen right now. This window here, that little sliver there, and then this. Feels like we're in a part of the mall now. What? Why did the game lag? Is that about. Something happened? Sounded like something closed, but I'm probably crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. I really thought that was like something standing there. This, you know what? I think that this map is doing this on purpose. That looked like a head and a really tall figure. I don't really want to go back. I don't want to backtrack. Like I'm I'm freaked out.
A lot of little unique stuff to the map. Really not much to say right now. I'm actually kind of freaked out. That's cool graffiti. I just can't tell if I've been here or not. I know that might be weird. But it's hard to tell where anything is. Like, where I've been and where I go. Rush potatoes. That kind of freaked me out for a second, but... So many corners. You know, I get a weird Dear Esther vibe when I play some of these liminal space maps. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played that or seen it before. But it was a walking simulator game. Which sounds like an insult when... You call a game that, but that's what it was called. I, that's what it is, basically. And I like those kind of games. But, um... In that game, you can actually see, like, a figure... Watching you in the distance. And I always kind of assume that with this... With these... Liminal space maps. Something similar. Interesting. You know, I, I remember reading this experiment a long time ago about rats that have been through trauma in their life. They usually hug walls and stuff a lot. But that also goes for every animal as well, like dogs, cats, and it even is the same humans. If we're scared or something, that something might happen, we stay close to corners and walls and stuff. And we just assume something bad is going to happen. So if you're a very anxious person, you might notice yourself doing that. Because you're making yourself not 
the center of attention. And I think it's situations like this, like what I'm doing in game, I just kind of realized that I was kind of doing it, is that I'm really hugging corners and not really wanting to walk right in the middle of everything because it makes me feel so wide open. Yet, it's actually more dangerous to stick to walls realistically than be out in the open if someone is stalking you. Unless they have a gun. But let's say if you're being stalked with a knife, you don't want to be in like corners like, like this, you know? Or stalked by some kind of shadow figure that I'm so afraid of. Of... That's just... The thing, you know. I don't think I've looked through the whole map. I think there's probably a lot more to this. I kind of hope there's more, because this is kind of creepy. I don't hear that noise in some spots. We've been down here. This is cool graffiti. You know, I, I saw an ARG about these things right here, and it was really creepy. Made me never want to play VR ever because of this ARG unless I'm recording which I mean obviously I would be but uh, I forgot what it was called but it was very simple and kind of cliche but they did it so like well that it felt like it was okay because really it was creepy like what had happened in it I, I really wish I could remember the name of it but it was like they found some kind of what like you know how there's like different things like in the code here and whatnot where you can like type in different stuff well they like found this new one where you could like record and watch videos which I think you might be able to actually record and then watch videos but they found this one on a uh, this graffiti on the wall in Half-Life 2 in Ravenholm, which is one of those pictures that I showed you, except the face was blacked out on it. Uh, like the graffiti of the man, the dude standing there, just looked different because of the, you know, face was, like, darker, creepier. They found the coating on that, on the, uh, textures. And, uh, they just found these really creepy, like, VR videos. And, I I didn't really get into the ARG that much, but I kind of assumed what had happened. And it made me never want to play VR. <laughs> Jeez. I think I've been here, but this scared me. There's got to be more. Right? I feel like I've seen it all, though. I'm 
gonna no clip. Oh, that's interesting how that connects. That's a really good way to save uh, resources. You know what I want to do is no clip into that one room because I think I've. Wait, we didn't take the elevator though. We haven't really been around this area. This is an area I don't think I've seen at all, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's a printer there. Glad I didn't noclip. This is so creepy. Yeah, we've been in here. How did we not see this area? I don't think we've been here at all. What's that? You guys heard that, right? It wasn't that. It sounded like something metal fell. Be honest, this would be the room for it. Don't think metal were her to fall. Here's the catwalk. bug flew in front of my screen and I thought that there's like a creepy bug thing in, in game that's it's crying do you hear it that scared me Creepy. You know, I don't know if I recognize this, but I do recognize this elevator. Like, this is what we saw from the elevator, I think. Because, yeah. But. Obviously, it looks like we've been here, because I think that's an open door. Yeah, we've been here. There's a truck. How did we... You know what? We missed so much stuff. I missed so much stuff. I end up just calling it quits way too early sometimes, and I'm sorry. But... I feel like maybe now I've seen everything, but I just don't know where else to go. could just keep wandering, but it's boring. Instead of no clipping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the door. <laughs> My volume was a lot louder than I thought it was.
That scared me. Oh yeah. I think we've seen everything here. Seen that little purple light. Except, what is this? Been here before, but I... Oh, okay. This is the area we could not go. I do remember this. CSS came out in, in 2004. Just buy it. How did I miss that? I think I've been in this part. Huh. There, there actually, to be fair, we did kind of miss a little bit. Didn't we? That's a cool way to block off stuff. This st it reminds me of the Stan Stanley Parable. Uh... Does that work? I didn't get jump scared. Okay, that's automatic closing, so... Ain't got nothing to worry about. Keeping all doors open now. That one doesn't even have... Sub-Yow. Okay, I have not been here. I didn't even see this when I was no-clipping. What is this? I swear. When you're no clipping, it's kind of, I don't see everything, I guess. I think, can I pick these up? No. So is this close to where the catwalk is? No, I've, I swear I've seen these. I tried clicking on them. We came through here. Yeah, we haven't explored this part of the map very much, so let's explore it. Yeah, and I got scared, like, kind of scared by that thing. I was just curious. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go down this way. I think we did at one point. Matter of fact. Did we pass that by and just not explore? You know what's really creepy about this is that it does feel like it's like a part of maybe like the back area of a mall or something. But then you got a grocery store that is surrounded by like these back areas that is just massive. Like the warehouse is usually in the back. But not this time. You know, something doesn't feel quite right about these pictures, uh, specifically this one. I, I, I just don't, I can't put my foot on it. And then this one is like, that, that one looks a little normal, I guess. Just has the pretzels in it, which could be bread pretzels, I guess, but they don't look like red ones. Guys, I'm so sorry about these pauses, man. I'm just often Okay. Uh something's not right about this place. You you can't drink these things. Cap not included. Wow, such empty. Wow, such a old meme. You know how I always say I feel like liminal spaces were created by aliens that don't understand things? That's that's how I feel right now. Not sure. You know, if you're just passing by, you can't you don't even notice these things if you don't look twice.
Pretty sure you can't drink those. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for nothing. Then we got Subwoo. Then we got empty. So that means I probably have to find that part of the map again. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It actually did not take very long. And I did no clip, but uh, this reminds me of something I saw once. I saw this video of one of these things collapsing and somebody fell in. I, that was an accident, though. I just want to look. I just want a little peek back here. Okay. Sorry. Didn't really look like there's too much more to this map. So if I miss something, y'all can play the map for yourself. I always say it, but I recommend it. And then leaving a like on the map or something. Cause they, I, I'm, I'm not the one creating the maps. I'm just playing them and like giving like little commentary. But I think it would have been creepy if they put something there. I think I, we got most of like everything. I mean, is this this part of the map that I didn't really see? And then we did all this here. Did all this. Then we went up here. Well, not here specifically, but we did see this. I think. Yeah, we did, because it's a little glass area. Yeah. And I saw that thing. That's really creepy. What's this? Oh, that's for the elevator. There is uh, something I did want to check out, if I could find the staircase. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that we haven't looked at. I thought this was a library, and I was like, wait a minute, but wrong. Oh, wait. I'm going to jail. I was going to make this update even bigger, but it's already 100%. How cool is that? Thank you all for liking me, Matt. Is that just someone's IP address? I'm going to jail! That's kind of cool. That's a, that's just what I was curious about. Like, maybe if it led to, like, another part of the map I haven't seen. This part kind of catches my eye just because of the colors, but I think we've seen everything. Yeah. Cool map, though. 7 out of 10. I kind of wish that there's a little bit more to the back areas of this map. I I didn't mind walking through the mall, like not the mall, but the parking lot. But it does get a little old. And that's why I say I kind of wish that there's more stuff like this because this is really interesting and actually kind of funny, but also kind of creepy at the same time. Like it, it it's all of that all in one. Hello. But yeah, good map. Seven out of ten. Seven uh, seven point five out of ten. Just because of how funny some of this stuff was.
it was pretty good but yeah i'm gonna end this one here hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one i recommend uh reviewing the map leaving a like whatever on the map and i'll see you all in the next one peace out be safe bye